This is an intense, hardcore, Hylian army training camp. We need 110% attention and focus around here. Uh, you get off your Sheikah slate taking selfies. The mighty Hylian army was once a great force of protection for the Kingdom of Hyrule, but sadly stood no match to the force of Calamity Ganon. The entire army, along with Link, almost, was wiped out from the dreadful attack, and this sparked a bit of interest towards the Hylian army for me. I want to explore into some potential lore for Breath of the Wild's Hylian army, as I don't really cover as much lore as I want to. Now, I am aware this is a very small niche sort of lore, but these sort of unexplained areas really interest me. If you have reached the Woodland Tower in the game and look on the map, you will notice the surrounding area has a rather… interesting name. Military Training Camp. Well, that's exactly what I'm exploring into, so let's do this. As I mentioned in the intro, the entire Hylian army that once stood strong is… gone. Like, very gone. Like, completely destroyed by Calamity Ganon's attack, never to be seen again, kind of gone. Before I jump right into speculating, I did check the Masterworks, which believe me, is jam-packed full of interesting lore about the game, and I do have a few videos planned thanks to that book, but they will have to wait a few more weeks. Anyway, long story short, the military training camp didn't feature in the book, surprisingly. I checked under Central Hyrule, Elden, Akala, Lanayru, and even notable locations, but I couldn't find it anywhere in the book. So that leaves it down to us investigating within the game itself. Now, by the looks of things, this could have been the Hylian army's main training camp for new recruits and older members. Firstly, it's just behind Hyrule Castle, the location the royal family lived in, which would require really heavy protection, so it's an ideal place to be located. Any excess or overload of soldiers could go on standby out at the camp, whilst also training of course. If all hell was to ever break loose by Hyrule Castle, signals from a high point of the castle could be made over to the camp, signalling across the moat of the castle. This could be raising a flag or letting off some sort of smoke. So it's almost like instant backup if you like, if all hell was to ever break loose. Just like how the army or royal navy reserves in real life work. The reason I believe this is their main training facility is because most of the kingdom's large facilities, such as a prison, water storage, marketplace and all of that stuff, are located within Castletown or nearby. The prison is exactly like the camp, just off to the side of the castle, away from large public areas but still within a quick travelling distance. Also, just a small detail to add on, there is a stable right down the road from the camp, so there is a chance some soldiers would have stayed there, as well as within the camp itself. Central Hyrule seems to host a lot of important facilities to the kingdom, with all the ones within Central Hyrule acting as the main facility, in this case a training camp. It is likely there was other smaller camps in further away regions such as the Nakluda and Tabantha regions to train up soldiers out there, but the one within Central Hyrule is the main one. Now, what about the camp itself? How was life as a soldier of the Hyrulean army in this particular camp? Well, from looking through cutscenes where soldiers of the Hylian army are spotted, they appear to be very well disciplined, standing straight, 100% focused and fit to do their job alright. They also look very coordinated and structured as a group. An army as solid as that doesn't come from nothing. It takes serious training and dedication to build that, and that's exactly what I believe this camp was for, training up the best and most elite soldiers for Central Hyrule, the heart of the kingdom. As back then, this region would have been bursting full of life and required a good amount of protection. If you go and explore the camp for yourself, you'll notice how it's split into a lower ground and higher ground section. I believe these were different parts of the course. 
lower being easier and higher being more difficult. I believe this is the case due to the structures we can find on each level. There is a lot more towers, walkways and obstacles on the higher ground, and on the lower level there is a lot more of this swamp thing and some walkways, more of a beginners and less advanced training area. From the remains, we can see it doesn't look like there was many living quarters on site, just a few small buildings, so it would make sense of what I mentioned earlier, that being the nearby stable was used as a place to stay as well, along with the living quarters on site. Looking at the structures found, this camp must have been absolutely brutal to train in. Tall towers to climb, long tedious running courses, and the swamp we see was probably water back then, so there was likely swimming and other water exercises involved. Needless to say, one hell of a tough camp, but it made some damn impressive soldiers, so how did it end up in such a state? What all went wrong? And how did the downfall of the military training camp happen? Well, we already know Calamity Yannin's attack was malicious, destructive, and really changed the land forever, so the attack itself would have caused a lot of damage. But from structures such as the stables, we can see that the Hylians repaired and restored certain structures and began to use them again after the attack. But the military camp was left to rot and be overrun by enemies. We can clearly see from the skulls and presence of the enemies themselves that they now run this camp. Perhaps if the enemies hadn't have got there first, then maybe there would have been a functioning training camp after Calamity Ganon's attack. Now to explain the elephant in the room, the giant tower sticking out of the ground. We know this hasn't been visible long, as all of the towers were below the ground until Link activated them, so this wouldn't have been there when the camp was still used. This fortress of a camp looked to be one of the strongest points of Hyrule. Watchtowers, large barriers, a bunch of tough soldiers training daily. This would have been amazing to see all those years ago. And hey, if we ever get that pre-breath of the wild game, maybe we will see the camp in full life. I know it's nothing major, but things like this really give the game character, and just make the lore more and more interesting and fun to explore. So that's my thoughts on the story behind the ancient military camp that was sadly destroyed and overrun due to the attack of Kalame Yannin. Well, here we are, the end of the video. How exciting. I never really know how to finish these, so here's the usual. Thanks for watching everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this little insight to a bit of speculative lore from Breath of the Wild. As I mentioned earlier, I have a few videos planned thanks to the Masterworks book. Although, I want to make them some of my best work, so they will take a few more weeks. Be sure to join our Discord server through the link below if you haven't already, and until the next time, I've been Hyrule Gamer.